Hey there YouTube, Far North Racing here. Today what we're going to do is pull the valves out of this head. So the essential tool for getting valves out of heads is a valve spring compressor because you need to be able to push down the valve spring to be able to pop the keepers loose. So I picked up this OTC heavy duty valve spring compressor and basically it's a C-clamp. This end rests up against the valve head. This end here has a selection of these collars which fit over the end. That's the one that's the right diameter for what we're doing. This one right here. And all that does is slips over the end and presses down on the valve. Very, very simple. You can get ones that have a lever action on here so you can clamp it down and it pops. Uh, those tend to be a little bit faster, but I've also found that they can be very sort of finicky. If the setup isn't perfect for your head, sometimes they work and sometimes they don't. And if the keeper is kind of stuck, Sometimes you can't get enough pressure on it to get the lever to go over center. So although this crank version is a little bit slower, it uses a good old-fashioned screw to be able to squish down on that spring, which means you know that it'll work. And I'm not doing production work here. I don't need to be doing dozens of these things in a, in a couple of minutes. So the fact that the screw is a little bit slower doesn't bother me at all. It's a, a fairly simple piece of kit. Not much to it, which means there's not much that can go wrong. So here you can see the valve spring compressor in place. This end is resting on the valve head. This end is resting on the spring retainer cap. And this is the crank end right here. All we have to do to get the valve off is hold on to this, turn this down. Once you hear that pop, that's when the retainers have popped free of the retaining hat. So the next step is to get your trusty magnetic finger and you just stick it inside. And that pulls the keeper right out. And it goes into its spot in the case. And reach in and grab the other one to pop it loose. There we go. And into its spot in the case. Then you can back off on the screw, being careful not to get caught in the cam cap. Chew it all up. Now the valve spring and the retainer cap slide right off. Then go in the case. And then you just push the valve out. There we are. One exhaust valve, three of the head. Twelve more to go. Here you can see the static head of the valve spring compressor resting on the head of the valve to hold it in place while you compress the other side. So here's the business end of the valve spring compressor. Here's where the collar fits on top of the valve spring retainer. There's the head of the valve right there. And you can see it's got this big space in there so you can reach in and grab the retainers when it pops loose. Which we'll do right now. Well, that one was a little sticky. Here's the spring in the retainer. Push the valve up. Bob's your uncle. So one of the things you have to do when you do this kind of work is keep yourself organized. And here's an old trick just for keeping track of where everything goes. Just a cardboard box with the two heads drawn on it. This one here's the front. This one here's the rear. With the camshaft pulleys drawn on it so I know which one is which. And then each one has got the cylinders marked on it. So as the valve comes out of the head, it just gets slid into its appropriate hole in the box, and now I know where everything goes. Here's another trick but for keeping everything organized. This is a plastic organizer case from Princess Auto. It's just got a top that lifts up, and it's marked with the camshaft pulleys on it, intake and exhaust, so I know where everything lines up, and there's just these compartments inside that as stuff comes out of the head, 
it goes into the appropriate slot in the compartment. And that way, nothing can get lost. You can lock it down. Keepers don't run away from you. And just make sure that you know that everything's in its proper place. The key to successful engine rebuilding is organization, and this is an easy way to do it. Okay, well, I'm going to finish popping all the rest of these valves out. And uh, once it's all done, then we can have a look at cleaning off the heads and examining what it is we've got. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Stop it now.